a repeat of my silver star trucker friends it is very early on Wednesday morning nearly quarter four and I'm shortly pushing off for Shetland I was going to call in at Warrington to see Steve and Kathy up to the car so I'm not pushing up all that early but I'm going back to bed for a bit I don't need a second alarm I'm going to get another hour of sleep or so <coughs> and of course I've got lots of things to remember to take this is a repeat as you know on my app having two channels thanks to Google Plus so we went to the zoo yesterday really took bad as we sat in the car afterwards eating the chicken portions and the other stuff that she did and she said uh, a number of times that she was sick and it was only bile she says you know I brought everything up heat my guts up with bile you know she carried on and she says but it was only bile I said you say that was more and I should be fucking sick god bloody woman so yes, uh, tonight I shall be in bed breakfast at Carlisle after meeting a friend at Lancaster on the way up. My sister up there So these Facebook friends, they're not real friends. Well, the internet friends, Facebook, YouTube, they're not real friends. Well, I've met several, several. I met the mayor recently and seen Stuart today. Uh, but you know that's her up there stupid fucking woman and uh, as I said on my other upload on my latest disc uh, has arrived from Love Film we are now part of the Amazon group and it's the original version of Wuthering Heights with Laurence Olivier and Mel Open any time now this song will go funny wondering about it but a great film it's Kathy soaring music she shouts out the window Heathcliff Heathcliff my love he says yes Kathy and she says don't forget me fags <laughs> yeah but I can't watch that until I get back but I should be back for before the end of the month, yeah. The Toyota Avensis that they, uh, the hire company gave me, uh, I've hired it out, great supercar, automatic, as I asked for, diesel, and uh, it will be very economic. Uh, it's cost me an arm and a leg to hire it out for two weeks. Yeah, well, you know, tell with the expense. Uh, I did an upload, but I didn't do it on this channel. I appear on Top Gear. <coughs> my early days in the 80s, my son Andrew uploaded a photograph of Peter Sutcliffe, the notorious killer. You know, bearded, same with me. And uh, thank you, Andrew. Bastard. Peter Sutcliffe and to kill all these uh, uh, women didn't they? me, kill them you know, rather than love to them I might be a mildly I might, my, I, 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 I might be a mildly bastard but me, a killer <laughs> a joke yeah, so uh, before I go back to bed and carry on reading my Kindle, which I'm going to take up there, the new book by the columnist Richard Littlejohn. Uh, brilliant, very sarcastic, very cynical. He lampoons, because it's a big book. In his early days, he lampooned that thick illiterate yob, John Prescott, who he nicknamed Two Jags, and dreadful Shuey Blair. Tony Blair's wife, who we nicknamed the Wicked Witch, <laughs> and he's a very, it's a very entertaining read, you yeah. know. After.
after reading several books about UFOs, you know, I've come back down to earth. And uh, Mr. Little John, a very controversial Mr. Little John. <laughs> it's very funny, I can hardly recommend that book. I'm not sure which one it is because it's on the Kindle. And I don't want to lose the place where I'm up to. So I, 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 I and Will be taking it with me. Mm. Oh yeah, going around the zoo yesterday, uh, the, uh, me and Rita had two scooters hired out and mine, the battery went flat. So Mark pushed me back to reception. But there's no very sorry about us, uh, this sometimes happens. He said, I can assure you the battery was charged last night. I said, well, why has it gone fucking flat then? Uh, uh, it, well, uh, it's just, how all I can say is it was charged up last night. I said, well, it's gone flat. The battery's dead flat. Obviously the battery's knackered. Uh, well, I put it back on charge. I said, what's the point of that? Someone tomorrow is going to get the same problem. It needs a new battery. These batteries don't last forever. Fucking idiot. Hey? Eh? So you just put it back on charge. I mean, I had to buy two batteries for my scooter that I've got here. Given to me by the British Legion. I mean, that could have been somebody who was very disabled. I mean, I can't walk. I can sit and drive forevermore, yeah, but I can't walk. Just so well, Mark were there. Well, I reach out a scooter. She would have had to go back and tell him and, and she should have brought one out. But that shouldn't happen. Ain't they competent bastards? Anyway, yeah, uh, so I'm going back to bed for a bit. I've got most stuff packed. I'm sure I'm going to leave and forget something. But I've got everything of importance. You know, documents for the ferry crossing. And everything else. And, uh, it, my neighbours away. Next door. The alcove's up. I've just been out on the balcony. Had a pizza with window. He sat there in front of his telly. At this very early hour. Uh, with his bottle spirits at the side of him. She's away to the side and Gladys up there is a deputy door post so I could play some very loud music. That's early hour but I wouldn't do that. No. Because I wouldn't like to upset anybody else. I am a very caring neighbour. <laughs> at times. Yeah. So that's it until I return from the Shetlands. Although I will be uploading to Facebook anybody on Facebook. Uh, I am Arthur Dale on Facebook. I'm put on this channel I am Silver Star Trucker. But on Facebook uh, I anything I have, uh, photos and videos I will put on Facebook direct from my iPhone. Right, so that's it. Let me finish and go back to bed for a bit. Probably an hour, maybe two hours, but I don't need to leave until about eight o'clock. Right, I'm off. Bon voyage. Or au revoir. That's the right word, isn't it? Yeah. Alright. All the very best. Bye.